Hello, July. What is going on? I can't believe we're already halfway through the year. This is amazing, though. I feel like this year has been really transformative for everybody. And so this will be the messages for July for all the zodiac signs. You can go to each individual video, but make sure that you are also not only looking at your sun sign, which you probably already know what that is, but looking into your rising sign and your moon sign, because this is going to give you a little bit more of a personalized reading without having to get a personal reading. And, um, and that's going to help you as you go throughout the month, just some nice messages from your angels, your guides, your, your higher self. And then also I have weekly videos for all the zodiac signs that go I go into each individual sign as well and then I also have bonus readings and then daily lives that I do so make sure you're subscribed to the channel and sharing this with your friends because these are complimentary readings so why wouldn't you just share the fun and the wealth and also it really does just help the channel and get out get me out there into the lovely land of YouTube so I did pull some cards for the collective before we go into, in, into the individual sign. And I pulled from the uh, Beach Bounce Life, the Pure Ocean Heart deck. And the message is, just like the tides, everything ebbs and flows. So this is the message overall, is understanding that everything is ebbing and flowing, right? So you may feel like you are literally in the ebb and you're like, are we ever going to flow again? Are we going to have that wonderful, beautiful energy of things just flowing forward? Yes, everything's cyclical. You have to just always realize that and know that when you're at the bottom of the wheel of fortune, you will get back up to the top. And so in order to accomplish this for the month, I, from the Ocean Goddess deck, I pulled the buoyant card. So it's all about being buoyant, being in the flow with the universe and understanding, okay, you know, you're still in the water, you're still bobbing around, and you may not feel like things are flowing, but you're going to have a big rush of energy this month that's going to take you to the next place where you need to be and the next steps as you continue to develop and learn as we all do in life, no matter how old we are or how young we are. Um, but this is just saying, you know, don't force any situation this month. This is all about staying true to yourself. And if something feels good, go for it. If it doesn't, just take a step back and relax and listen to what your angels and guides and your inner self is saying for you to move forward. And then you're going to, you're going to know, okay, well, maybe things aren't flowing right now, but there's a reason why that, that has been blocked off and the, another floodgate's going to open up for you. So you just never know. So make sure that you are tuning into that as your mantra for the overall collective and we'll get into the readings bye all right gemini let's get into it let's see what your overall arching theme is for this month Ooh, it's time to move on from the past the past is in the past for a reason hello okay so that's going to be a really great journal prompt for you i do see that you need to release some things out of your life with the four of pentacles in reverse is letting things go stop holding on too tight to ideas of things that haven't come to fruition for you yet because i do see a brand new opportunity either monetarily or in career advancement that's going to help you build the solid foundation and this is i feel like this is something you've been waiting on and you've also had to draw a little bit of boundaries to, with yourself or others around you to establish this is what you want and why you need it you know like we all have different reasons why we want to build things and build projects so I feel that you really need to tap into the energy of understanding the world is your oyster and moving things forward, but also with patience and, and grace, okay? I do see that someone's been, um, you know, stalking you or, you know, checking you out online, trying to see what you're up to. They're trying to dig up some dirt, but they can't because you were sitting in the queen of, pen or queen of ah, the nine of pentacles energy, which is like, financial independence, completely self-sufficient. You don't need anything else. You have been providing and building this on your own. And with this new opportunity coming in, it's going to give you another pentacle to reach the 10 of pentacles, which is amazing. Oh yeah, I thought I saw that. Yeah, and the 10 of pentacles is coming right up. So this is awesome. This is total financial security, luxury, building the empire that you want. This is the end of the cycle. So you've been, you put in all the work. And I do see this is going to come in through an offer 
there's a lot of pentacle energy, so not a lot of love in this reading yet. We'll get to the love life. But I do see a collaboration coming in, um, a gift. Someone wants to gift you something, give you something that's going to help boost you to the next level or help you build the studio that you want um, or, you know, or help build the foundation that you need to move forward to take those steady steps. Because I do see with the pentacle come, pentacle, Knight of Pentacles coming in, this offer is going to be a solid offer and it's going to provide you what you need. Um, so just make sure that you know you're you're drawing healthy boundaries but you're also letting the right people in and you're not being too generous and just letting people in because they look like they need help when they may maybe they don't or they just want to suck your energy i do see with this situation also is ships this is two ships passing in the night so not on the right page with some something or somebody um the a missed opportunity but remember what what is meant for you will not pass you by and i do see a lot of a lot of financial gain coming for you this month that's going to give you inspiration so keep your cells filled with wind and make sure that you're providing for yourself um, meaning taking care of yourself of what you need and in love, I do see that there's someone around you who wants to be in your life or vice versa. I do see that there's a little bit of fear of this person leaving or it's too good to be true. So that, you know, keeping this, if this is, if it's a missed opportunity, this person wasn't meant for you, if it's time to exit a relationship, this is your sign to say, okay, are we on the same page? Let's ask the questions, right? Let's get on the same page. Um, so overall, you need to let go of the past in order to let to make space for the future to come through, okay? And in the moment, make sure you're giving gratitude and holding space for compassion in any situation you're in. If you have to release a job or release a relationship or vice versa, just realize it's meant for a reason, even though it may sting in the, in the moment, it's meant for you and the universe always had your back and the, everything always ebbs and flows. So it's gonna be a good month. It's gonna be full of a lot more career focused as opposed to love, but you'll have to let me know in the comments. All right, love and light, bye.